What's it like to have discovered or been a part of the discovery process of young talent? Put Putting eyes on people, what are the things that you looked for? Presumably the data set was much smaller then than it is now, and yet you had to have some very, very special skills to understand these things. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'd like to say that I was as successful as my boss, whose first three clients that he signed were, Mark, were uh, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, and Gary Player. An interesting little sidebar there, Chase. Um, Mark was smart enough to know, as he, as he put it, he'd hit the lottery. And he said, I had two choices. I loved golf. I could play golf uh, with my friends, these, these three, and make a very, very nice living for the rest of my life. Or I could take what I had learned working with them and apply it to other sports. So that was the choice that he made. But, but um, it, it's... You know, there are talent scouts in every field, um, entertainment, uh, people that go literally to Broadway shows and just will see five, six, eight, ten in a week. And they're just looking for something, for something. And I'm looking for something similar, but maybe a little different in golf. And tennis recruiters are looking for maybe something else, but they all have commonality, which is, first of all, talent. You know, to, to get to those six players that I mentioned – they're superstar talent. They're all different. They swing the club differently. They don't do things the same, but they're unbelievably talented or they don't get to number one. Number two, from the marketing side, which was my job, you also are seeking a very rare combination, charisma, attractiveness, appeal on top of the talent. Now you're slicing down even smaller to the percentage of perfect example. Arnold Palmer was was probably the most charismatic golfer of all time, if not one of the most charismatic athletes of all time. He'd go down the fairway and hitch up his pants and light up a cigarette and go over and talk to people in the gallery. He just had it. It was it, right? That was his it. Yeah. Jack Nicklaus was frankly a pudgy, you know, fat, unattractive guy that just beat the hell out of everybody. And over time, Jack was smart enough to know with some help from Mark, he lost a lot of weight, he started growing his hair longer, he used to wear a pork pie hat underneath of which was this dramatic crew cut. I mean, Jack, seriously, but, but he learned. And so he became, it was a transformation there. Um, so back to the sort of the bedrock, you need, to, you need to identify the talent. A lot of people can do that. You need to figure the, the appeal and how it might translate into, into, um, you know, stuff off the golf course that the that the talent is looking for you to generate. And three, you really want to see a work ethic because the world is full. And I don't care if we're talking about actors, actresses, golfers, tennis players. You've seen it. We've all seen it in yeah. high school and college. The kids that are just so much more talented than anybody else. And you know what? Frequently, they don't work very hard. Why? Because they haven't had to. They've always been ahead of the curve, so to speak. And that's what, not to you know, isolate Tiger, but is so dramatic. Not only was he the most unbelievably talented 20-year-old and, and prior to that junior golfer, he worked harder than anybody else. He was, on top of that, the most competitive kid you'd ever seen in your life. He, he'd like to beat you at checkers or whatever you, whatever you were doing. And most important... I think, Chase, are equally important. He loved the game. And I will submit to you, and you do this across all different fields of activity, if you don't love what you do, I will postulate you're never going to be superb at it. I'm sure there are exceptions. But Tiger brought that. He loved to play golf. Not only that, he loved to practice and hit balls for hours. And then he quickly loved going to the gym. Within two years after he turned pro, he put on 25 pounds. He looked like an NFL cornerback. So everyone isn't like that. David Duvall was shy, uh, a little bit reclusive, very intelligent. You know, they're all different elements here. Greg Norman was swashbuckling and, 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 and just loved the spotlight and, and the great white shark, all of that stuff. So you're dealing with all these different things, but they do have talent. They have charisma. They have appeal. Greg was also an incredibly hard worker. And the final element is luck. Mm. Because 
I can give you a, a, a list longer than my top six number ones of players that I missed. We all do. You're not going to get them all right. You're not going to be Mark signing the big three. So that's kind of a, a, a talent scout or recruiter's world. 